We put the frozen tuna down and began walking to, toward the generator room. We let the, the tuna live. Live, tuna. Be exposed to the hotter-ish water. Is this hot water? Let's make, get some hot water and we can let the tuna live. Well, I mean, it'll be flopping around, but we can throw it outside. I mean, just find a window and break it and chuck it out. Probably a bad idea, but... The water must have broken in from somewhere, right? We can throw the tuna out there. Anyways, this side of the area was also... <laughs> mm, yawning. Was also in inundated with water from the flood. Inundated, a word I have never seen before. Learning new words all the time playing these visual novels. Only to promptly forget them later on, probably. It was still bathed in darkness. Blue light from the surface dimly pierced through the small round windows, making a wave-like shadow on the floor. The four of us relied on that and our flashlights as we, as we proceeded deeper and deeper into the complex. Hey, wait up! Oh, I... Um, Oi is so close to hey anyways. I like to think it's like that's like their English saying. I know I think it's Japanese, but I like to think of it as English just because oi is so close to hey. Maybe it is English. I, it's like I haven't looked this stuff up. I don't know. Maybe oi is English. It's like their way of saying hey. We turned a corner. We heard Takashi call out from behind us. Oh, and in case you aren't up with the elite lingo, English is when Japanese people use English words, but they're not very good at speaking English, so they sound garbled, so we call it English. Um, uh, now, I'm not entirely sure what you call it when an English speaker tries to say a Japanese word and that comes out garbled. There should be a term from, for that. Like, uh, like, I don't know, I think I came up with one a while ago. I, I was joking with someone about what it could be, but I forget what it's called, like, Japanese or something? I don't know, um, because you're like, you're yap, yap, yapping, Japanese, something like that, English and Japanese, sure, whatever, um, we heard Takeshi call out from behind us. What are you doing? Hurry up, no darling, we'll leave, we'll leave you behind. I'll show you darling. This toolbox weighs a ten, and why are you still carrying it? Oh, right. Oh, because they needed to fix whatever the problem is. Come on, Takeshi, be a man. You're the man of the group. Well, except for me, but I have the baby face, so you don't have to thrust anything on me, right? Ah, uh, and who says girls are the only ones who can use their looks to their advantage? That's the power of the Bishonen. The kitty Bishonen, which is even better than regular Bishonen, because Takeshi's already regular Bishonen. Looking back, there was Takeshi with the toolbox on the floor and breathing hard. Oh no! My baby face! It only worked for so long! Give me a break. Shonen, give him a hand. Even though you're still the kid of the group, you can probably do a better job than Takeshi. I'm probably like a super soldier. Uh, alright, sure. Then again, I passed out from being in that suit. But just because I can't handle the suit doesn't mean I can't handle lifting. I heard you where Takeshi was. Constant running noises. It never ended. Well, actually, no, it did end. Okay. Takeshi, I'll help you. In fact, I'll do it all myself. I don't need your lame-ass help. Oh, Thanks, stay from that side. You know what he's starting to feel like? He's starting to kind of become the Yosuke. I was just realizing that. Which, I mean, he's really the only option? <laughs> like, uh... uh can, can Yosuke be a female? Can there be a female Yosuke? I don't know. Um, I'm not sure, but he kind of... He's seeming to fit the bill. Just the further we get into this, um, but, uh, yeah, so, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm all well and good for making fun of Takeshi, um, <laughs> uh, Takeshi, alright, take from that side, okay, the two of us took the toolbox from both sides, I could totally do it myself, completely yosuke if I am, but, no. <sighs> I thought my arms would fall off carrying it all alone. Yeah. Quit exaggerating. Quit egg exaggerating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if the and whoo, oh, that's a slap near. Oh, Takeshi, watch out! There's a bump sticking out there. Uh, in the floor. That was gross. Okay, good. Someone's got to be a spotter, I guess. I guess I'm the spotter. Good thing someone started spotting before you ran into that on your own. 
So it was a good thing you couldn't lift it all the way there, I guess. Guess he was just able to write himself. That surprised the bejeebers out of me. What a fun word, bejeebers. I just about fell down. I don't know if I'd be able to get up. Glad you noticed that shonen being so dark and everything. Good job. I also just thought I'd bring up, um, uh, there, there are some visual similarities, and I think this is a coincidence. I know this is a coincidence. There are some visual similarities between Chie and Nakyu, and I realize this, and um. And you know there there there's actually a similar relationship going on where um, they have this kind of rivalry, like kind of like Yosuke Chie, like where they kind of hate on each other at times a bit. Um, although I guess in in this case, um, Nakyu started it. Although actually, even there, Chie kind of started it in general, didn't she? I don't know. Um, and I'm noticing some similarities there, but for the most part, they're still pretty different characters. Actually, no, they're, they're similar. They're definitely similar, but what I'm trying to say is, I think different personality traits tend to be associated with different visual styles, as I've mentioned in past LPs, like redheads, and not, not just orange-haired characters, but specifically giving them red hair, like actual red hair. Um, they tend to be... Um, when you do that, they tend to be, like, the aggressive types, like, if they're females, they're generally sundares, um, and even if they're males, they're generally male sundares, the redhead, team seems to be pretty common in that. And then, like, when you get to different visual aspects, I guess people just see people certain ways, or maybe they make the personality and the visuals later, but, um, it's just interesting how, you know, I have to sometimes, like, tell myself this, like, I'll see characters, and they'll look similar, and I'll like them, and they look similar, I like them, and then I'll have to ask myself, wait, do I like their appearance? Is that what's drawing me to them? And like, no, no, they just tend to have the same personality when they have the same appearance. I think that people are just drawn to different appearances, and they link them with different personalities in general. So that's why I like Chie quite a bit from Persona 4. For those who are wondering what I'm talking about. Um, and I'm liking you a lot, and they definitely have visual similarities, but I'm not sure which came first, the chicken or the egg, but their personalities are somewhat similar as well. And I believe either they come up with the visuals first and the personalities match, or they come up with the personalities and that's the visual that they, comes with it. But it just seems to resonate with lots of different people. It's kind of a cliche thing in a way. It's sort of another another cliche type of thing, I guess you could say. But I'm going on a long tangent. I just sort of realized that I was as as, as I was going along here, like Chie and you look quite a bit similar, and they also have pretty similar personalities, and I like them both quite a bit. And hmm, hmm. But I don't know. I just thought I'd get that out there. Uh, it being so dark and everything. Good job. You really think it's that dark? Takeshi, maybe you got bad night vision. Oh, but I'm, I'm a night crawler, so I can see see very well. I actually uh, do have some pretty good night vision. I tend to stay up at night a lot, so yeah. I've gotten used to it. I've gotten used to peeing in the dark. A <laughs> true story. Uh, um, I mean, people always tell me to turn the lights on, but I do it without the lights, and there's no problems usually. I mean, unless it's like pitch black, but nah. so mm, come on. Oh, I think I earlier just said there's no problems usually. I meant there's no problems. I haven't had any problems for years. Um, peeing in the dark, that is. But okay, I, that's too personal. Um, could be. <clears throat> what is that? What is it that causes that? Lack of vitamin A or something? I hate liver and carrots. Liver? Is that like liver from dead animals? Uh, could be. Uh, you need vitamin A. Carrots. Well, I do eat carrots. I tend to eat cooked carrots. By the way, carrots, are they, do you like them cooked, uncooked, or are they fine either way? Personally, I need them to be cooked. I hate raw carrots. Uh, my brother's actually the opposite. He hates cooked carrots. He'll only eat raw carrots. Um, so anytime, like, uh, if we're eating together and, like, my parents, um, 
let's say my mom is making food or something and making carrots ten is one of the things she just knows all right you're cooked you're not cooked okay <laughs> which uh, I don't know and by this point for, there was a bit where she got confused about it like during that early phase of when we were starting to settle on our tastes she would like give me the raw and give him the cooked and be like all right it's the other way around whatever but I don't know um, liver so me so I personally liver I would not like to eat liver I don't know how often I eat liver is liver inside of something else or is that something you just eat me shouldn't be so picky true I'm actually pretty damn picky I mean if I don't like eating something why eat it that's how I feel I mean there's so much different food and there's so many different ways to get the different intakes like different ways to get different vitamins different ways to get different that if I don't like the taste of something why eat it there's probably something else that I like the taste of more we can get the same or similar effects so I just kind of come to the conclusion if I don't like something well, why eat it anyways finally as we caught up with um, knock you and Maya we reached our destination yellow and black stripes appeared dimly ahead this is it this is the generator room there was a plate with information on the front of the door but it was too dark to read I'll take a look uh, Naki reached toward the door handle. Ah! What? Oh my god, I'm scared. What? Wait! Wait, what? Dude, is there so a trap? Is it a trap? Don't know it's a trap? Instinctively, I grabbed Naki's arm. I saved the day. Be a hero! Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? I grabbed her arm, and then I slipped on the water, and then we fell on top of each other. <laughs> uh... <laughs> what is it? What, what, what? Here? Now? It's too soon. What? Huh? Huh? You coming on to her? I'm not you. Maybe later, though. Huh? Um, huh? Mm-hmm. Sakeshi and Mayo stared at me questioningly. What's the matter? Uh, the thing is... I love you. What? I couldn't find the words to reply. Because, as the player, I didn't even know the words. I wondered why I'd said what I had. I really didn't know. Because I'm a super terrorist, but I've grown to like you. So my memory of when I was a terrorist and set up this trap is coming back to me and that's why I told you to not touch the door because I knew there was a trap there and because I actually like her I'm like don't let it happen uh, this trap was meant for someone else question mark that's the only thing I can think of is that it's trapped and I know it's trapped either because maybe maybe I'm not like some kind of terrorist but that's the thing coming to mind is that I'm some kind of terrorist part of this terrorist plot and Sugumi's involved in it as well to an extent. And maybe that's why Sugumi didn't come with us. She knew it was trapped, possibly. Um, but I think I know there's a trap, and that's why I stopped her because I, I don't fully remember it. But 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 a flash of my memory came back to me. Even if I didn't understand it, I'm like, there's a trap here. Got to stop her. I I assume something like that's going on. Yet somehow, if you don't know what's going on inside, don't you think it might be dangerous to just open the door? I was just rattling off what popped in my mind. No, I hadn't even thought it. It just seemed to jump from my throat before anything else. Kind of like when you snap your hand back after touching a hot stove. Uh, I think they've made that analogy before. Is that going to be a running theme? Possibly. Um, snap your hack back, hand back, because because like that's how that's the best way to teach things, right? Or wait, no. I'm thinking of a different game altogether, sorry. I've been playing something else. I wasn't even Let's Playing it. And that that's the game I'm thinking of where they're making that analogy all the time. Never mind that! This is the first time I think they've made that analogy? Whatever the case. Yeah, like snapping your hand back after touching a hot stove. Um... Hot stove. Yeah. Even though in this case it's water. Unless I know there's like fire beyond that door. Or some kind of explosion waiting to happen. So I instinctively, oh, okay, because I remember the trap. It's like, if you're about to touch hot stove, even if you don't know what a hot stove does, when you touch it, you're like, ah. Uh. So in a similar way, as I, even though I don't remember that there's a trap, as she got close to it, I'm like, no, I don't want you to be trapped. I stopped her, something like that, maybe. I just effectively blurted it out. What do you mean? I guess I have to do this. Someone has to be the front man. If I don't remember what the problem is, I have to be the front man, I guess. Unless Takeshi's willing to volunteer. Make... Put some worth into yourself, Takeshi. You don't have to play a character, so you're useless to me. Naki wasn't buying it. 
I took my hand from Yu's arm, ooh, and searched for words. And then I moved it to her breast to distract her. What? At that moment. It's kind of like this. Oh, oh, are you going to guess my terrorist plot? If a pipe carrying hot water burst, then the room could be full of hot steam, maybe. Oh! Oh yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Are you being serious? Do you actually think that happened? Because yeah, that's possible. Oh, pipe carrying hot water burst. So yeah, like if there was a problem in the control room, we don't know if the control room is the cause, but that's where the fix is. So usually the cause is in the control room. So if there's a problem, you want to avoid the problem, right? Something like that. Yeah. Mayo took up the slack in my explanation. Is that the truth or do I know something that they don't know? Is that just a gut feeling or do I know like a truth? Oh, I see. Is that really the reason? Really? Well, I sense danger. I couldn't express in words what it might be. So now Naki will be grateful, because I saved her life. Possibly? Maybe. I still think there's something more. I think there's something more. I think that's their way of hiding the fact that he's secretly some kind of terrorist, possibly. The three of us nodded satisfied. Okay, let's give it a try. Takeshi touched his hand to the wet floor. He went to place his damp fingers on the door. Oh, I see. So he doesn't get electrically shocked or something? Possibly. Droplet sizzled, evaporating away. Yup! It's electrocuted. Is that my trap? Or is that an actual... Is that because of the hot bursting thing? It's true! It was just like Mayo had said. Wow. It's pretty sharp, Shonen. It's because I knew it would happen because I set it up because I'm the head terrorist or something. Maybe. Uh, yeah, totally. I replied, but I hadn't really known it would be dangerous either. The one who had known was a separate someone inside me. Oh, shit. Is it the girl, the imaginary girlfriend, who's trying to steal Yu's place? Or, or doesn't want you to steal her place? Maybe. That's someone that simply borrowed my voice. Oh shit, split personality? Maybe? I don't know. That's the simple explanation. But uh, then again, um, I mean, I say it's the simple explanation, but that can get very complicated. And honestly, split personality is something that I find fascinating because it's a real thing. People will get these alternate people inside of them that will show up in response to something else. And I just find that fascinating because I'm like, how are you not yourself? But it's a real thing and whenever I see anyone with it, and I don't, I don't believe I know anyone in real life who's like that, but there are real cases in like just wrapping my head around that. I remember when the first time I saw that in like a game or something or even a show, I was like, that's not realistic at all. Um, that's just because they're in a show, but I'm like, no, that's a real thing that can happen and I just, I find that whole thing fascinating. To see inside the head of someone like that would be crazy. Anyways. What had happened was so strange that it made me feel out of place in my own skin. Like split personality, maybe. Anyway, things as they stand, there's no going inside, I said with my female girl voice. Eh. Whatever, it's not very girly anyways. Ah, uh, oh, shit. Uh, is there no way we can get in, really? I'll say, what are you going to say? Or is what you're going to say what they already said and you're just saying that to say that you'll say that? Oh, okay, you do have a plan. First off, let's close off all valves for pipes sending hot water to the generator room. Good. If we stop the flow of hot water, and steam should stop flowing into the room, we can hope. Where are those? Um, generally, I think you go on steam and uh, a lot of the games there will be from Valve. And did Valve design Steam? I want to say they might have. Oh, wrong Valve? Sorry. Um, then again, Steam does tend to come out of Valve's. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Uh. In the room next door, down one more quarter that way. Well, let's go then. Oh shit! Me! 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 
It won't require that many people. Just me and one more person to help. Oh, I'll be the person. I'll be the person! So, this means no matter what, I'm gonna be left alone with one person. Uh, either he takes the, she takes the cashier, which I don't think she's gonna do, in which case I'll be left alone with Maya. Or she takes Maya, which she might do, and I'll be left alone with the cashier, which would be boring! Hopefully she takes me, you know, because we've, you know, been a team for so much of this. So, I hope, I hope, but I could see her taking Maya as well. I don't know, what are you gonna do? Leave it to me! No, you don't get to be the person, there's no way I'm gonna shoot you down, because you're, you're, you're the character we make fun of, right? Mmm. The Yasuke. Huh? Takashi, I don't want you. Hey, what's wrong with me? <laughs> After that, uh, ever since you're snoring, we've all kind of hated on you. Uh, every offense, Takashi. It's just... Oh god! <laughs> if we were alone, I'm afraid you'll do something. But you're not afraid when you're with me? I guess that's a good thing. No, but if I do something, I'll let you know before I do it. <laughs> uh, I'll get your... Per permission, but yeah, we know that he's had some wet dreams about you, so... To be fair, for all you know, I have... Actually, I haven't had a chance to dream since meeting you. I haven't gotten to sleep. Oh, I slept in the hospital bed. I had the wet dreams then about you. But I don't talk in my sleep, so you're not on to me. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, you know, who knows? He could be a raging pervert. But just because he's a pervert in his sleep, I don't know. Still, you know, you want to take every defense, just in case, because we are in a dark situation. You do want to be safe. Like, at first I thought, oh, they're joking, but no, seriously, though, I mean, if they're in a big group, it's fine, but when, you know, one person alone with one person in this place where not many people there to help you, who knows, someone could be a raging pervert or a killer and try to make use of that. So, if two people are being left alone with each other, it's probably best if she takes Mayo, if we're being realistic, because her and Mayo have known each other for a while, they'll probably be fine with each other. And then again, Takeshi coming after me, eh, but it's probably safer if I'm with Takeshi than one of the girls. Probably. Who knows, though? We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what they choose to do. I want to go with you, but I would I would understand if you took uh, Maya. That's, uh... Yeah, I can see that happening. I hope I go, but I could see it being her. Uh, maybe I should help? Yeah, just so two girls, two guys makes the most sense, I guess. Oh! Oh! Oh, you're hitting on me, is that it? Oh no, that's okay, Maya, you wait here. Okay, so, it's not safe for you to be alone. It's not safe for you, you, to be alone with, um, Takeshi, but it's fine for, for Maya. I see, it was just an excuse. Because you want to be alone with me? I'll take it. Oh, <laughs> you get to be with Takeshi. But, but I thought you just said, no, ignore me, whatever, you know what I really want. <laughs> hey, Shona, what are you gonna do? Huh, me? Oh, wait, of course I'm gonna help you, obviously. I'm gonna help you so hard, almost too hard, probably too hard. I'll help you. In that case, uh, Mayo and I will hold down the fort here. Then again, I mean, if he's a raging pervert, usually raging perverts, unless they're super stalkers, don't have too many preferences. Then again, I mean, to be fair, we, we have proof, potentially, that he's been wet dreaming about you, but we don't have any wet proof for Mayo, so I guess there's some sense, but I think it's just an excuse, because she wants to be with me, and I'd be perfectly okay with that, because it seems like she's into me, if that's the case, and I would be okay with that. Can't complain about that, right? I'm sure she can have some complaint. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't have to voice that, but again, I feel like doing it every time. <laughs> yup. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. Well, no, she was okay with it if you don't. Okay. Uh, oh, damned if you do, damned if you. Do. I get it, because normally you're not ha you're, you're um. You're not doing enough to help, right? Like, you gotta keep up with the group, kind of, so you're damned if you don't, but then when you actually try to put the initiative, like, I'll help, you're damned if you do, because basically they just, they, they need you to keep up, but they don't want to be with you, so yeah. Damned if you do, damned if you don't, kind of applies, definitely. It seemed that Takeshi was oblivious to his disturbing dream that night before, that had screwed everything up and made him into the Yosuke. That was when you jumped the, jumped the poof. Jump to the Yosuke? I don't know. Um, 
but yeah, that, that seems to be the defining moment for you. You, well, well, you know how there's growing the beard and jumping the shark and jump. That's when his character jumped into the Yosuke's mouth. If the shark is Yosuke, he jumped into the mouth of the Yosuke, and then it got really freaky, and he came out another Yosuke. That makes no sense whatsoever. But let's say the shark is a vampire. If the Yosuke shark is a vampire and he bit Takeshi while he was dreaming, because he dreamt, or maybe as we were putting the marker on him, it screwed up his dreams and caused him to have a nightmare. And in that nightmare, he got bit by the Yosuke vampire shark. And the Yosuke vampire shark turned him into another Yosuke. That's the explanation. Okay, it's canon. Alright, let's keep going. I figure that Naki was concerned about Naki in her own way. No, wait. That you isn't capitalized. That's still confusing. I figured that Naki was concerned about you in her own way. By which I mean, you're her Yosuke. Like what she had you carry the heavy toolbox. Maybe it was her way of saying rest a bit or take it easy. By doing the most heavy lifting? So you, you think so? That's a pretty generous interpretation, I'd say. Well, someone's gonna look on the bright side of things, right? Well, yeah. No, well, in that case, I guess Maya and I will just have to sit back and relax together. Okay, yeah, there you go. Whether it's not you or Maya, you're going to get pervy. I mean, I can't complain. I'm pervy too. And, you know, you are supposed to be a main character, so it only makes sense for you to act the part, even when I'm not controlling you. But, um, still, it's, it's not giving the girls the best messages. I guess she tried to put uh, Mayo on the shoulder. Pat Mayo. But she dodged the advance. Uh uh. I'm not taking your shit. Naki isn't. Neither am I. Uh. Oh, you probably don't want to do that. I'm a really kinky girl. You wouldn't be into the stuff I'm into. Huh? I'm a licensed Iga Ninja. She's probably joking, but maybe there's some truth in that. Like, she jokes so much. It could be like the reverse. Boy who cried wolf, like eventually she'll say something, you'll think it's a joke, but she's dead serious. Maybe she really is an eager ninja. Confirmed. Head cannon. Uh, what's that? Probably from some TV show. It means if you value your life, you better not get handsy. <laughs> uh, that's, um. That's interesting. What if. Okay, she seems to be kind of an otaku in a way, at least in the sense that, you know, she's into a lot of that, you know, culture of at least assassins and ninjas and even more than that, just that. Like, even her name. <laughs> Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if she changed her name with how how much she's into that stuff. And I wouldn't be surprised if that led her to actually learn it, which makes her actually serious. So, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like full circle in that sense if that happened. I'd like to think she's a real Ega Ninja, if that's a real thing that she can be. Sure, even if, she, if it isn't a real thing, she can make it up. Every real thing has to start somewhere. Ellipses. The close-up. Meanwhile, Takeshi's in the back with that with that sad face. That's just perfect. That just describes the entire situation perfectly. Should we get going, Shonen? I love how he's called Shonen. It's great. Uh, yeah. You and I left increasingly an increasingly tense atmosphere behind. 